Welcome to the Happiness Podcast. I'm Dr. Robert Puff. Expectations, they are so powerful in affecting our level of happiness or sadness. And we can carry them with us throughout our lives. I remember when I was at university, I knew these two roommates who were women and they had very different expectations. The one expected to get straight A's no matter what and the other was just expecting to pass school and graduate. Well, I remember one semester they had the same class together and I remember during the semester they each took the same exam and when they got their grades back they had very different reactions. The one who expected to get A's ended up getting an A minus and she was so upset at herself and the teacher and everything about the university, she almost wanted to quit. She was just so mad that she didn't get her A, her expectation that she would get an A in everything that she did. Well, her roommate ended up being so happy because she got a B, which was a lot better than she expected to get because she was hoping just to pass a test, and she did, and even with a B, so she was so happy. Now you may be thinking, well, the roommate that wanted to get A's, I'm sure her life turned out a lot better. Well, I knew how their lives turned out. And the one that needed to get A's all the time did go on and get her PhD, it is true. But during the end of her coursework, she ended up having a psychotic break and has really struggled for the rest of her life. It was very sad. All those high expectations had consequences. And as I said earlier, expectations can come in so many forms. We can expect to get on the plane and arrive on time. I see this all the time. And when the plane's delayed or there's some mishap, people can get so upset and whatever level of happiness they had when they arrived at the airport is gone and their high expectations have allowed them to become very unhappy. Now expectations are a normal part of life. We have them, but keeping them low I believe can instill happiness. For example, when I travel, I have some expectations. I hope to arrive safely. And that's about it. I would definitely like the plane to arrive on time. I definitely would like my luggage to be there when I got off the plane, but I know it may not be. It's happened lots of times and it will definitely happen again. So when it happens, I just say, okay, what do I do to rectify this? Do I get a different flight? Do I just wait? Do I talk to someone about where my luggage is and how it can be delivered? Or do I go through the steps of talking to my insurance company and get reimbursed for my lost luggage? But my expectations are to arrive safely. And so far, I've done that. I mean, if we think about high expectations, I think one of the highest for women is when they get married. They expect that day to be perfect, beautiful, wonderful, and with a lot of high expectations that things are going to go well. Well, if you've been to weddings, you know often things don't go well. And the women, the brides that do the best, are the ones that flow at that. And they realize that's just part of a wedding. But the ones that you see crying, so upset, and believing their wedding was ruined are the ones that had high expectations. High expectations can really ruin our weddings. I was once at a wedding, and it was time for the best man to give the toast to the new bride and groom. And as he was giving the toast and he was mentioning the bride and groom's name, instead of calling the bride by the bride's name, he called the bride by the groom's ex-girlfriend's name. His wife very loudly immediately corrected him and there was a bit of a chuckle, but it was just part of the wedding. He didn't mean to hurt the bride. He just was nervous and said something wrong. A lot of things can go wrong in life, but if we keep our expectations low, it can still be a beautiful life. That's really the key of happiness, keeping our expectations low. I know it may sound counterintuitive because shouldn't we expect a lot from life? We can, but that's the path of suffering because life gives us what it gives us. Sometimes it gives us a lot more than we expect, but sometimes it doesn't. So if our expectations are pretty low, it's pretty hard for us to be disappointed because we didn't expect a lot. I live in beautiful Southern California, and there are a lot of cars here. If you've ever been here, you have to anticipate that, and you never know what you're going to get. So I have low expectations to get to a place on time if I leave at the last minute. So what I do is, pretty much everywhere I go, I leave early. So if there is traffic, I just sit in the traffic and enjoy my time. 
When the trip is delayed, I may listen to an audiobook, I may call up a friend, I may have a conversation with the person I'm with, or I may just enjoy the quiet time of being alone. Keeping our expectations low can have so much freedom to our hearts and our minds and our lives because when they're lower, we don't get disappointed. I know it may sound counterintuitive. Low expectations, Dr. Puff? Shouldn't I have high expectations for my life? It isn't that we can't have high expectations, but the high expectations come from low expectations. Let me explain. If you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you know one of my deepest beliefs is that we can all have beautiful lives, no matter what. However, the way we have beautiful lives, which is a high expectation, is by having low expectations about the outcome of life. Again, if you know my podcast, I always end it the same way. Accept what is, love what is. When we have low or minimal expectations, then it's a lot easier to accept and love what is. When we have high expectations, then we are going to have a lot of disappointments. But if we're able to keep our expectations at a minimal, then we won't be disappointed. So when life doesn't go the way that we expected it to, we say, okay, I wonder what it will do instead. There's a sense of curiosity and excitement about what's going to happen next. Like a young child, instead of being disappointed because things didn't go the way we expected, high expectations can really make our lives miserable. Because when it comes to expectations, there's just always someone above us or there's a higher goal that we can reach. And so whatever goal we reach, then what do we do? Because there's always someone above us or a goal that we could reach, another expectation that we could have. I mean, here in the U.S., we have what's called the President of the United States. I'm sure you've all heard of him or her, whoever that is at the time. But what about if you're President? I mean, what a great honor. You've reached this great goal. But what happens if after four years you don't get reelected? I mean, there's just always something nagging at us that can bring us down. And that's why all you have to do is read biographies of people that have done astonishingly well, and yet some of them don't seem particularly happy because expectations, high expectations, can really bite us in the end. We have to be very careful with our expectations and keeping them low doesn't mean we're not going to accomplish anything. It just means we're going to adjust whatever comes our way. In many ways, I think it helps to accomplish more because we're not then so disappointed when things don't go right. And again, if you study people that have done exceptionally well in life, you're going to see that they have a lot of times where they've failed, tons of times, and yet they keep going. If our expectations are low, but we love what we're doing, then when we get something that kind of deters us from going forward, or we failed, we keep going because we didn't have the expectation for everything to go perfectly. And now we're just going to keep going because we love what we do. It really is the secret combination to finding success in life when it comes to happiness is keeping our expectations low and yet keep moving forward enjoying the beautiful life that we have but knowing it doesn't always go the way we want it to and that's okay because we become super adapters our expectations are low and so we can just adapt to whatever life gives us because we didn't expect it to go a certain way And that creates a lot of potential happiness, real happiness, ultimately, if we keep working at this. But the hard part about this is it is hard not to have expectations. We really do want things to go a certain way. If we're single, we want to meet someone to spend our lives with. If we're married, we don't want to get divorced. If we have a good job, we don't want to lose it. If we go to university, we want to finish and find a good job. If we're healthy, we want to stay healthy till we reach retirement, and then we can do some real traveling and see the world. But these are expectations that often don't go that way. Life doesn't say, I'm going to give you any of those things. Some people do have them, it is true, but lots of people don't. Lots of people don't have the things that we expect to have, and yet they're happy, and that's one of the secrets of life. We can be happy with so few things because there's just always something beautiful to be with. Some people so desperately want to be a parent 
and yet it doesn't turn out that way. And then they may adopt, or they may have pets instead that they take care of, or they may take care of other people's children. There's so many ways that we can reach our things that we desire in life without letting that high expectation to get us in trouble. It's just suggesting and saying, oh, is there another way to get this expectation fulfilled? And if the expectation is pretty low, it's pretty easy. So this is such a beautiful way to live life. But we have to be careful because expectations are being thrust on us all the time through conversations with our friends. Why aren't you married yet? When are you going to have children? When are you going to lose that weight after having your baby? There's just so many ways people put high expectations on us. But the good news is we don't have to let it in. We don't. We can choose to be around people that don't shame us in that way. We can choose to be particular about what we expose ourselves to. Like, are we watching television shows, reality shows, where people have so much more than us? Isn't that going to make us feel disappointed in our lives? Expectations are tricky, but if we pay attention to them and we keep them low, what we'll discover is we truly can have beautiful lives. We just have to realize our expectations cause us so much suffering in big ways. Like let's say if we get divorced and we had high expectations of never getting divorced, that can cause a lot of suffering. Or in little ways, let's say we go to the bank and expect to be in and out in five minutes and there's 20 people in front of us. These are potential ways in which we can suffer. I know some are a lot bigger than others that expectations that life has to go a certain way will cause suffering. So if we keep our expectations low and just enjoy whatever life gives us, then we'll find that our expectations for a happy life will be fulfilled one day at a time, one breath at a time, because we can all have beautiful lives. Thank you for joining me on the Happiness Podcast. If you'd like to learn more about the podcast, please go to happinesspodcast.org. And until next time, accept what is, love what is.